Hello and welcome to this video. I will share how to create a simple crude application using the Next.js framework and Redux Observable to manage the state and do asynchronous work using epics. This topic is exciting to those looking for a Redux tank alternative. To follow this tutorial, you must install the following tools on your computer. Node.js, Yarn, and IntelliJ Community Edition. We will begin with the outline of this series. We will start by creating and configuring our project using command line tool and IntelliJ IDE. We will install and configure our database using Prisma. We will configure our application store using Redux. Then, we will develop the crude API, reducer, actions, epics, and pages. Let's start with the project creation and configuration. This is the outline for our first video. We will start by creating and configuring our project. We will add the dependencies and the material UI view. And finally, we will run the application. Fire up your Windows terminal and type the following command. Be patient as Yarn takes time to install all the needed dependencies. We will open up our project in IntelliJ IDE to set up the configuration. We will add a new file, jsconfig.json. And in this file, we will set the source of our project. Let's rename our jsconfig to .json. If you are using IntelliJ, you should have IntelliSense to help you with the property keys and values. Let's create the source folder. Add views. And add a user folder with a capital U. This folder will contain all our crude views. Let's add the dependencies inside the package.json file. Here we have moment for date, MUI for view component, Prisma for database, Formic for form creation, Redux for state management, RxJS for asynchronous processing, and Yup for form validation. We also need to add DB client and Prisma server in our dev dependencies. Now it's time to add our MUI view that will show a list of user information. Under the user folder, create a new JavaScript file users.js. Create our users functional component. Don't forget to export this component. Here, let's type hello world inside the div. Under pages, let's create a new folder users and add a JavaScript file index.
Let's create our users page functional component. Again, don't forget to export these components as well. And here we can import our users views. But before we can do that, we must export it under views users folder. So let's create our index file and add an export line. We should be able to import this user's view using a relative path because remember, we have defined our source views under the source folder. That's why here, we can tell the compiler to import the users from views user folder. Remember, our source folder is SRC and we can access the folders under it relatively. This makes importing easier. Thus, when we type in the URL localhost for 3000 forward slash users, it should go to pages users index.js page. Then it will render the view under views user users. Let's build the application by opening the terminal and running the command yarn. Let's run the application by running the command yarn dev. Open up your browser and enter localhost port 3000 to access the index page available under pages index.js. And now let's open our users page by typing users in the URL. It will go to pages users index where it imports the view views user users and inside this view it displays hello world text. Let's update our user view by displaying our user information in a table. You can automatically import the components by pressing control 1 or control space at the end of the line. These are the information of our user, ID, first name, last name, email, and birth date. We will be using a table row to display this information. And here we have added the button for adding a user which redirects to the user's new page. Once you have successfully imported all the needed components, we can now run yarn dev and test our application. Again, enter localhost port 3000, user in the URL. Oops, we have missed the user variable. For this video, let's create a temporary variable user. So let's type constant user equals object so that it will not throw an error. Let's rebuild our project and wait for the page to refresh. This is what we built for this exercise. In summary, we have created an XJS application that displays a material UI view. In the following video, we will configure the Prisma database to pull user information. See you at the next video.